We have a busy two days ahead of us. We have uh, two straight days of deliveries. And early in the morning, I've been running my super splitter and making some progress in these rounds. And this is the load that's going. This is two quarter cords. So it's going to two separate locations. And remember guys, I'm going to continue to preach this. Two quarter cords is worth a lot more than a half a cord. It would be even better if I could have delivered three sixths of a cord. <laughs> but this is what we got today. Uh, today I got two quarters that I'm delivering. Tomorrow I have two quarters I'm delivering. So four quarters to me is worth a lot more money than two halves. Or, you know, two halves are worth more than one, one quart. So these are the principles I follow in running Ohio wood burner and getting these deliveries out. This front half is going to a barbecue place and this is one year old cherry and it looks awesome. The other half of it is underneath this load and the second half is going to a brewery in Youngstown. And that's where I'm gonna take you along for the ride. And I'll show you how we deliver this and how I deliver two separate loads at the same time. All right, guys, let's load up the truck. All right, guys, my truck has uh, some cosmetic problems. The winter is a little harsh on it. I haven't even had a chance to wash it this year just because it's rained so much. But first things first, let's get this delivery and let's hit the road. Let's go. Uh, I need the keys. All right. We run like a finely tuned machine, guys. Nothing's going to stop us. One other thing that I like to do before I hit the road. I do my pre-trip inspection, and for these, what I'm looking for is loose bark that might fly off going down the road. So I'll turn my splits upside down so the bark's facing down. Stuff like this that could blow out. What I've learned is when your name is on the side of the truck, you pay attention to these little details. All right, pre-trip inspection is done. Now we're leaving. Let's go. Oh shoot, forgot one more thing. Okay, now let's go. I forgot my sunglasses. Okay. Sunglasses, Dr. Pepper. Now, let's go. I forgot my invoices. Okay, invoices, Dr. Pepper, sunglasses, keys. I think that's it, let's go. And this is a repeated theme, guys. I strongly recommend if you're going to get into the firewood game, become a legitimate business. You worry about paying taxes, but I'm telling you, it's not that big of a deal. And then all of the little things that you do are tax write-offs. For instance, my mileage. So I have a tracker that I made. I keep track of my mileage and it all comes off the tax return at the end of the year. When I go to leave for a delivery, that usually happens to me. I forget my keys, my glasses, my drink, my wallet, oh, invoices, everything. It's just, I don't know, maybe you're the same way. So 
I had come up with this idea so that I could be more efficient when I leave. It seems like the older I get, you know, it's hard to keep all of this stuff straight in your head. So I bought these white plastic clipboards and on the back of them with permanent magic marker, I plan to write all of the stuff that I need for a delivery, you know? Uh, and for instance, the, um, the, the inspection for the trailer. Well, I think it's a great idea. So now that those clipboards have sat around on my desk for about six months, maybe it's now time that I actually do them. Talking about the cosmetics of my truck, did you catch the tailgate? Oh, if you recall, I spent money to have that tailgate done and it, it didn't make it through the winter very good. So what I am going to do is I am going to do it myself. So I am going to pick a day here this spring, probably a rainy day, and I'm just gonna take that tailgate into the garage and I'm just gonna fix it right and try to do all of that rust removal and try to pre prevent it from coming back. One of the things that I try to take pride is the, the brand, our image, and I want the truck to be presentable when I show up. And you know, this winter is pretty hard on it. I need to get the rims uh, painted again, and I got some touch up all over this thing that I need to, uh, to get fixed. It has been a while since I have had an Ohio wood burner business tip of the week. So let me give you this one here. When I used to have a real job, I was, I was second in command. You know, there was the big guy above me. And every week there would be sales people, vendors coming in trying to sell our company, you know, whatever it is for the day. What I had noticed was they would always walk right past my office to get to the big guy's office. They would never even look at me or wave or nothing. And I was thinking, you know, one day the second in command is going to be the big guy. And wouldn't it be great for your sales to expand your vision instead of just focusing on what you're doing right now? Why don't you make friends with and develop a relationship with other people in that department because you never know they're going to be in charge at that company or at a different company someday sure enough i went on to become the director of a different department and guess who i did not call when it was my time to find people to help us run the business for my budget who did i not call and it was those same companies that could have easily been working for this company that i was now at i just wasn't going to call them what does that mean for firewood? Today, I am taking this wood to a brewery here in downtown Youngstown. When I first started delivering wood out here, it wasn't to the brewery, it was to the barbecue business that operated out of the brewery. I applied my life lessons to firewood, and what I did was I made friends with the owner of the brewery. It's just nice, okay, and he is a very nice person, but I just, I just didn't go in with blinders on, task-focused, delivering wood to my account and leaving. What do you know? The barbecue joint has moved out, and they're no longer there, and the owner of the brewery is now calling me to bring him firewood for their outdoor wood pit. So, lesson learned my tip for everyone out there is take your blinders off when you go to an account if you go to someone that you're delivering wood to there, there's always other opportunities out there and it may not be right now but it's how you can build your business and be successful
and we are here. This place is very nice. I'm gonna have to go find the owner because I think he's got a new place he wants the wood stacked. So let's hold up. Guys, this is walnut. <laughs> I have a, a, a gentleman that makes wood for me and I leave it up at his place and I had brought a, a trailer load of it home and I already have it sold, but it had a lot of walnut in it. Man, is that just beautiful wood, isn't it? And it's dry, it's uh, well seasoned. This wood, I keep it on this unloader and I pull the, uh, the tarp up in between the third and fourth row and that allows me to keep this order separated and I can crank one almost all the way out while leaving the other one in. The one thing that you got to do though is you have to pull the wood away from the wheel wells and these edges to get it to come out. Other than that, it is the best $30 I've ever spent. Here's one, this is beech. Beech has this elephant skin kind of bark and it's real brittle, but it has a nice spicy note to it. If you've ever heard of beech nut chewing gum, it comes from the beech tree. It's a nut tree, excellent for smoking. I get a lot of people asking for it. owner came out and we are changing where we place the wood. Makes things even easier for me. I can just take it right off the tailgate. This is for an outdoor fire pit and this place is getting a reputation you know, as being like a, a must-see here in the Mahoning Valley. It's a brewery and yeah this was a boarded up church uh, for a number of years and I think it was slated for demolition uh, but this gentleman bought it and you know, has retained like the character of the building and all. It's right behind the city of Youngstown's library. This is all Youngstown State off in the distance. That's their parking garage and this area of Youngstown is uh, known as Smoky Hollow. This is where all of the um, early Italian immigrants who came to the Mahoning Valley had their houses built down in here. Youngstown State built it and put in some sporting fields. But you know, you're famous people, the owner of the 49ers, the DeBartolos, Carmen Policy, if you've heard of him from the Cleveland Browns, they all grew up in this area. This was pretty darn dry, even for an outdoor fire pit. Man, it was great. You know, you think about what you price your firewood at, but I think you need to not just focus on the wood. But pay attention to your service because that's worth money too. And that's what you see with this place. You know, this is a business. They love professional invoices. It's something that they can turn in on their taxes, helps them with their expenses. And in my case, I have online payments, and they love that too. They can just make a payment and not even have to be here. Where I have strategically tucked an excess of this fabric up in between this row and this row, and I'll be able to crank this wood out to the tailgate, and that'll keep me from having to jump up in the truck. And what I really like about this is it allows me to keep all the crumbs off the driveway. There's nothing for me to sweep up when I'm done and it's good for the customer. This really makes unloading a snap. People always talk about time it takes to hand load the truck, but I'm serious, you get it all back, if not even more, when you're unloading. And you're also working at waist height, it's easy on your back. So 
Now that's as far as I can get this to come out. That's, that was the full length of this tarp. But look what I've just accomplished here. And then from there, I have this middle row that I've stacked on top of the cherry. Normally don't get crunched for time. But I had promised the other customer that I would be there at 1 o'clock. And it's not too far from here. I have a 100% on-time reputation. I really do think if you are in the service business, punctuality is crucial. Especially in the day of cell phones, you know. If you say you're going to be there, you better darn well be there. And if you're not, you better send out a text message or something letting them know. Because we all know what it's like to be sitting around waiting on someone to show up. And you do not want to have that reputation or just get into those bad habits of not showing up when you're supposed to. So that's it, guys. Barely even broke a sweat. So here's what we got to do now. This is going to be paid for online. Businesses, you don't really worry about it because most times you set them up on a 30 days net. That's what it's known as in the business where a business like this has 30 days to make the payment on your invoice. It's all about your relationship. Some people pay on delivery. Some people will mail it out, you know, the next day or some people that take that full 30 days. Normally your bigger companies, especially like chain restaurants, you know, that their headquarters is in the other side of the United States. That invoice has to get mailed to the office, has to get processed, a check has to be made and then mailed to me, and that takes 30 days to get it done. So be ready for that when you're on deliveries, when you're getting accounts such as this with a, um, with a business, you don't always get paid on delivery. So that is this delivery. I now have a quarter left in my truck that's going to go to the north side and then we're going to call it a day on our delivery so I can get back to the wood yard and get that super splitter running and get this wood split up. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed the delivery videos and I just try to bring you a day in the life of a firewood delivery service. I hope everyone has a great day.